Freeport McMoran is a natural resources company with headquarters in Phoenix, Arizona. We operate large mining properties with significant reserves of copper, gold, molybdenum, and cobalt, as well as oil and natural gas. Freeport McMoran is the world's largest publicly traded copper producer, the world's largest producer of molybdenum, and a significant gold, oil, and natural gas producer. Our stock trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol FCX. Our global workforce, comprised of employees and contractors, includes approximately 75,000 members. Freeport McMoran has a strong commitment to safety performance, environmental management, and to the local communities where we operate. Freeport McMoran is a founding member of the International Council on Mining and Metals, ICMM, and committed to implementation of the ICMM Sustainable Development Framework. The nature of our business impacts the environment and communities surrounding our operations. We mitigate impacts to the extent practicable through advanced control and remediation measures. We develop infrastructure, support health, safety, and education efforts, and provide local employment and business development opportunities. The products we supply are critical for sustainability and higher standards of living. Copper is the world's oldest metal. Mined more than 10,000 years ago, today copper is one of the most common and versatile metals in existence. Copper's physical attributes include superior electrical conductivity, efficient heat transfer, corrosion resistance, the ability to kill harmful bacteria, and natural beauty, among other beneficial qualities. Copper is a fundamental material used in numerous products relied upon by consumers everywhere. Copper is essential for our energy-efficient modern world and is playing a unique role in sustainable development. Copper concentrate is the most basic form of copper products sold by Freeport McMoran. We are one of the world's leading producers of copper concentrate. In North America, Freeport McMoran produces copper concentrate at four mines, Morenci, Baghdad, and Sierrita in Arizona, and Chino in New Mexico. The majority of this concentrate production is shipped to the company's smelter here in Miami, Arizona, where we produce 99% pure copper anodes. We send these anodes to our electrolytic refinery in El Paso, Texas, where they are used to produce copper cathode that is 99.99% pure. In addition, because sulfuric acid is a byproduct of smelting concentrates, the Miami smelter is also the most significant source of sulfuric acid for the company's North America leaching operations. Smelting is the process of melting concentrated ore in order to separate the valuable metal from the other elements in the original rock. The Miami Smelter is one of only three operational copper smelters in North America. The Miami Smelter has a long history in Central Arizona and in 2015 celebrated 100 years of operation. Miami is the only smelter in the United States to achieve International Organization of Standardization, ISO 9001-2008 certification, which means we have a standardized system in place for managing a quality product. In addition to copper concentrates, the smelter also recycles metal-bearing residues produced by other industries, extending the useful life of valuable metals and reducing the disposal of materials in the landfill. Copper and other precious metals are extracted during the process. The copper smelting process begins with copper concentrate. On average, the Miami smelter processes about 700,000 tons of concentrate each year and produces a similar amount of sulfuric acid. We receive concentrate feed via rail and truck. Our average is 100 trucks a day and 15 rail car shipments a day. Since we receive our concentrate feed from many different places, the chemical makeup of the feed is very different depending on what mine it comes from. So at the bedding plant, all the concentrates are blended to a consistent copper grade of 28%. The wet concentrate feed is delivered to the ISO furnace by a number of conveyor belts. The ISO furnace is an upright cylindrical steel vessel lined with refractory bricks designed to withstand the extreme heat. Our typical feed rate is about 100 tons per hour. 
High volume compressed air mixed with natural gas and oxygen is fed down the lance which melts the concentrate. We drain the molten metal from the ISO furnace to the electric furnace by opening a tap hole near the bottom of the ISO furnace. The electric furnace separates the mat, which contains the copper, from the slag, which is waste. The tapping machine drills out a mud plug, allowing the molten slag to flow down the launder into the slag pot below. When the pot is full, the tapper shuts off the slag flow by replacing the mud plug. The slag is the waste product that goes out to the dump. The copper content is 0.8% or less. On average, we send out 50 slag pots every day and they weigh 50 tons each. Our slag is inert because the glassy lava-like matrix encapsulates the minor impurities, preventing them from leaching into the groundwater. Watching the slag pots dump at night is a pretty exciting event as it lights up the surroundings. When the mat comes out of the electric furnace, its temperature is about 2,175 degrees and its copper content is about 60%. It is transferred to a converter, which is a brick-lined steel vessel. The converters receive about 55 ladles of mat every day. Each of these ladles contains 25 tons of molten mat. Oxidizing blasts of air are forced into the converter, agitating the mat, increasing the chemical reactions. This process converts the mat into blister copper, which is about 97% pure. Skimming the converter sends the slag created in the converters back to the electric furnace for reprocessing. There is about 5 to 10 percent copper in the slag and we want to recover the copper instead of sending it out to the dump. About 30 ladles of blister copper is sent from the converters to the anode plant every day. Each ladle holds 25 tons of 97 percent pure blister copper. Two processes take place in the anode barrels. First, we oxidize away impurities in the copper. Air is pumped into the molten metal bath and combines with the sulfur present in the blister copper to produce sulfur dioxide. Next, we reduce the oxygen in the copper by blowing natural gas and steam through the molten blister. This purifies the copper to about 99% and now it is ready to be made into copper anodes, the smelter's final product. On average, we cast about 1,500 anodes a day, and each one weighs 855 pounds. The acid plant is an extremely important part of our business, producing sulfuric acid by capturing the sulfur naturally contained in the copper concentrates. Our sister properties depend on our sulfuric acid to leach the copper from the ore mined at their sites. We ship approximately 100 truckloads of acid a day, and each truckload holds 26 tons of 95% pure sulfuric acid. The acid plant makes the sulfuric acid out of the gases captured from the electric and ISA furnaces and the converter. For each ton of concentrate we process, we produce one ton of acid. The Miami smelter captures 98% of all the sulfur contained in the original concentrate. Miami is required to manage its emissions of sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide, particulate matter, opacity, and other airborne pollutants according to the operating permit issued by the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality in 2012. This permit is renewed every five years and incorporates changes in the regulations that have occurred during the permit term. Freeport McMoran updates this permit whenever we add new process equipment, which is several times a year. Each of the pollutants have specific emissions limitations from the smelter as either fugitive or stack emissions. Fugitive emissions come from roadways and out of the vents of a building. 
Stack emissions come from specific sources such as the acid plant tail stack. These emissions are modeled so that they will not exceed the National Ambient Air Quality Standards, NAAQS, which protects the community outside the property line. For example, the sulfur dioxide, NAAQS, was developed to minimize the potential of triggering asthma attacks in susceptible groups. The concentration was determined from multiple studies performed by healthcare professionals. Freeport McMoran monitors its emissions through state-of-the-art gas sampling and analysis equipment for sulfur dioxide on a continuous basis. These monitors are audited annually by a third party and quarterly by Freeport McMoran personnel. We test for particulate matter and oxides of nitrogen twice a year at the facility. These results are provided to the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to show Freeport McMoran is in compliance with the terms of our operating permit. In 2015, our Miami operations had a direct and indirect impact on Gila County of $85.2 million and an estimated $216.4 million in total economic impacts on the state of Arizona. In terms of employment, at the end of 2015, Freeport McMoran had 800 Miami employees and a total impact on Arizona's economy of approximately 2,050 jobs.